Hello, welcome to another episode of Coaches Connected. Today, I've got I've dipped back into the ocean and I've, I've crossed the channel and we've, uh, we've gone back to uh, one of our European brothers. Looking up to join us today by, by uh, Coach Javier Galonzo. Um, so, uh, first of all, Coach, welcome to the show. Um, um, thanks for having me here. It's, I, I always try and get everybody on. And I know you, you've approached me a few times about coming on and I love it when we can do things like this and just, not just be... You know, having uh, certain guys come on, I love to open that spectrum and have other guys come on. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this talk. Uh, as you can see today, our topic is going to be one of my favourite players in football, Paul Verts. But uh, as, before we do start the, uh, the actual uh, show, Coach, again, welcome to the um, Coach Connected. Give us uh, a little bit of uh, information about yourself, your coaching background, what you've been doing and what you're doing currently, Coach. Okay, so again, thanks for having me here. Um, I started playing football in 2004 uh, for the Battle of the Drags. Um, I just uh, knew football two months earlier and um, I fell in love with it. I played for 13 years in Badalona and also in Toulouse uh, with the Toulouse Ours and in Reus in Spain, also a bit... A bit uh, south of Barcelona and um, I had a blast and it was actually when I was in Reus playing for the Imperials that I started to think of myself of, uh, um, as a coach and um, I was trying to help um, other players and I thought uh, to myself I've always loved teaching I'm, I'm a teacher myself and um, and I thought that was a natural uh, process after uh, retiring so I played f uh, for two more years with the drags after that yep. and um, in 2016 after we won our uh, second um, straight national championship with the drags I retired and two months uh, after that I, w uh, I was a coach a wide receiver coach for the men's team and also the uh, head coach for our junior team our u19 team uh with the drags and that's what i'm doing now i'm i'm the wide receivers coach for the uh for the men's team yep. and the offensive coordinator and head coach um of the u19 team so, uh, a question on that one coach is yeah. do you do you run the same stuff as your senior team is that is that a pathway that's made or is it a little bit different and they have to learn to offenses so i was, I was wondering um yeah, um, we did for a couple of years, but um, I mean, we, we still run the, uh, a version of the air raid with both teams. Um, our U19 team played nine men football and up oh, okay. until recently. Actually, this is the first year we're going to play National League and it's going to be 11 men football. So some things uh, we changed a bit, but um, the concepts were the same. The terminology was uh, mostly the same. And um, yeah, this year I have a bit more of uh, freedom uh, to run the offense, uh, so to speak. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still a, a hard fan of the, of the air raid. And um, I'm, I'm still running stick, uh, wide stick uh, for verts. And uh, and all that, so yeah. The core, the core stuff, that, that all that yeah. all, all us riders still run. We've got those four or six core players that we. we doesn't matter what we we do, we will go back to those core six different players. So. Of course. Um, I do like the fact that you've been at one club for a long time. You know, it shows all there. I think that you know, it's just something that you've played there for a long time and you, you stay there and. Yeah. Do like that. Aspect. And and we have a we have a really big a really strong program. That started uh, like ten years ago with when when the current head coach Oscar Calatayud uh, stepped in, and um, he brought the culture. He played in Mexico and Austria, and uh, and he brought that culture. It took us a while for us to to adapt, also because there was a generational change and yeah. a lot of old, old older players that retired in two thousand four, and uh, but after that. We started real strong um, in 2013, 14, and we haven't stopped since. Yeah, you're one of like the, the two perennials of yeah, the, the Spanish league. Like, you're like the, yeah. the, the, at the moment the biggest, the top cheese right now. 
we were we were the first team to be uh, founded in Spain and uh, the one with most uh, with most championships. We have uh, won ten national championships and the last four uh, in a row. Um, yeah. We didn't win in 2020 because the league was uh, cancelled, but yeah. um, we were five and zero oh at that point and and looking strong. You know, five is a dynasty, right? Five is a dynasty. So you got to get one more. Otherwise, you're not yeah. a dynasty. So, you know, you got to get five for me, dynasty. That's how it works. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to open up our, um, our talk today, Coach. I, as I've said to you off before, sorry, always looking forward to this kind of stuff and uh, the way that us, us riders run things a little bit different. So, you know, yeah. uh, part of the airline family, we open our doors to all. Um, so, Actually, it all started, it all started uh, out of a tweet of you. Okay. Um, you tweet a lot of crap. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, because I saw you were running the forwards concept uh, a bit different than I than I did. Yeah. And um, yeah, that that triggered um, our topic for today. Yeah. And I'm I'm looking forward to to discuss how we run uh, forwards and why do we run it that way. Yeah. And if we can improve or or pick uh, uh, someone else's ideas. Okay. So. Um, it's all about coming kind of share, share what we know and. Okay. A bit different, so I'm happy. To, I'm happy to have you on board to discuss your version of this car. So, so yeah. of course, yeah, my bad. Oh, good. Of course, um, everyone runs, or almost everyone runs, a version of the four verts concept. Um, a lot of systems. Either uh, you're an, an air raid guy, or pro uh, pro offense, or um, run and shoot. A lot of a lot of offenses have this concept uh, built in, but um, I would like to talk different ways to run it, why we run it a certain way, and the option that we are trying to run this year uh, compared to the previous years, and uh, we'll see some of these variations and, and why we do the, the things we do. Okay, so, of course, the uh, four birds is... Uh, um, a staple in the A rate. Um, it's a passing concept that it not only attacks the defense vertically, but also horizontally. So the defense has to cover the whole field. Um, that's why uh, it's a very uh, good concept against many coverages. We can run forwards out of different formations and personnel groups, not just uh, out of uh, with four wide receivers. And it's more than just uh, some people call this concept all go, and I'm not against that, but it's just sometimes it seems too simplistic to just say all go, everyone runs uh, um, a deep go a nine, and 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 yeah, just hope for the best. And there's a lot more in for verbs than that. And I'm trying to to see if uh, we can we can talk about this. You know, okay, you, know so, if, you know when you yeah. say you run it out of multiple formations, do you actually run it out of multiple formations? Are you a multiple? Yes. Are you, yeah. Okay. Um, this year with our um, U19 team, we're trying to run different formations. Uh, for the last few years, we ran, um, we had a lot of emotions and shift, but uh, our base formation was uh, two by two out of uh, 10 personnel. And we did that because our senior team uh, did that as well. And, um, but this year I'm trying to incorporate more um, formation so the defense uh, sees different, uh, different looks. And we can still run the same concepts out of different formations. And that makes, them, makes it uh, harder for the defense to, uh, to defend. And it's easier for the quarterback to read because the reads are always the same. Um, so do, so do you, the, yeah. Do you um, are you more of a formations guy for window dressing? All the personnel always because that you yes. have, you have three great yes, running backs. I, and I want to run two back kind of thing. You know, is it more yeah, of window I'm, dressing? It, it's more window dressing because I I'm a strong believer of running the same or mostly the same uh, plays out of every formation you have. Exactly. It's very, it's much harder for the defense to scout because they, they can, I mean, 
they cannot uh, see tendencies out of formations, which a lot of defense do. They, okay, out of these formations, they only have these few plays, and we can, we can prepare against that. Yeah. But if you run the same plays out of different formations, of course, um, you cannot have a, a, a playbook as big as, as if you just ran um, three plays out of each formation because you have to practice a lot more. Um, um, you have to have a lot more reps for each formation or different uh, whoop, my bad, personnel group. But I also think that the defense, um, for, especially for defensive coordinators, they're trying to uh, find tendencies out of formations, not just um, distance or in, in, in down and distance, but formations. And if you run the same concepts out of different formations, it's much harder to, to scout. I agree. So keeping that in mind, um, the four verts, uh, the, key con the key aspects that we have to keep in mind when, when we um, install four verts or we try to think different, uh, for, uh, different variations of the four verts concept, uh, the, the three key aspects that I always try to, uh, to emphasize uh, to our players is um, spacing. Okay, because a lot of people, when, when you talk about uh, four verticals, they think of, okay, we're trying to uh, push um, the defense backwards and, and stretch the field uh, vertically. But there's also a, a very important aspect here, and you want to stretch the defense horizontally as well. Okay, make them develop the whole field, not just deep, but also wide. So um, that's actually why, why I, I um, replied to your tweet about uh, that um, play you ran. And I think we'll, we'll go into that when we talk about uh, formations and how to run it uh, out of different um, formations. But always keep in mind that you need to stretch the defense horizontally, not just vertically, okay? Also, um, the simplicity of it um, is very important because you you'll see we can add a lot of variations and different looks and different motions, but the landmarks will be always the same, will always be the same, and the reads will be the same for the quarterback. So that's, that keeps it simple for the offense while it makes it harder for the defense. And I'm always looking for ways to simplify our offense while keeping, it, uh, keeping the defense uh, guessing. And... That brings us to the third aspect. The key aspect is make it look different. So attack that same area, that four uh, landmarks or three landmarks, depending on how we, uh, we run it. But use different players. Use um, forma different formations. Use motions. Use everything you can to make it look different while being the same. Totally agree with you. And that uh, brings us to uh, the landmarks that, um, we use, so uh, four verticals, of course, we're going to have four different landmarks, and that is going to be um, the sideline to the bottom of, uh, of the numbers outside, and an area around two yards outside the hash mark for the inside routes. And I'm not talking here about players, but routes, because we'll see we can run it differently. And not always the, the outside receiver is going to run the outside route or can run the outside route. But we want to have these four landmarks um, occupied so the defense has to cover the whole field um, horizontally and vertically. Okay. And again, we want to attack those same areas, those four areas all the time and even with different uh, formations or personnel. And that brings us to the actual formations and personnel groups we can run uh, four verts out of. So we can actually run this out of almost everything we want. And you'll see here, I, I, I put a, uh, a lot of or many different uh, logs and, and formations. So we have, here we have um, what we have, our base uh, formation would be uh, the one on, on top. So, um, two by two, 10 personnel. 
this is our base call for for uh, for four birds. Yep. Um, we at, we're attacking the four landmarks, so outside uh, the numbers um, to the sideline and around two yards outside the hash mark. And we can run this out of uh, trips with the same 10 personnel um, on the bottom left. Here we would attack the, those same four landmarks and we will have our number three crossing the field to the to, to opposite hash mark. Okay, that's the same uh, with the um, 12 personnel that uh, we have in, uh, in the play in the middle yep. with um, two tight ends, but again, attacking those same four landmarks. And even with the uh, 20, uh, 20 personnel or 21 personnel, we can run this with uh, our running backs running also um, the four verts concept. So basically you can run four verts out of everything you have. So it's very easy to install in your um, current offense because you don't have to add any new personnel group or any new formations. You can just uh, play four verts out of your um, current um, offense. So it's easier to, um, to play. But then you can add a lot of window dressing, a lot of variations that can uh, mess with the defense. You can use shifts, motions, switches. Um, actually, I was uh, watching um, Coach uh, Roland the other day, uh, yep. your, uh, your interview, and, <clears throat> and he talked about the switch concept uh, in the run and shoot. Yes. And we also use that in our uh, version of the air raid. Um, and it works really well because um, it creates a lot of um, blown coverages. Um, defense, sometimes when they see uh, switches or um, crosses or motions, they need to adjust and they need to communicate real fast. And the more motions you, you use or the more switches, uh, switch concept you use, the more chances of a, of a blown coverage you will have. That is, the only, that is the only thing that, I, that, that I've taken from the area so far is the switch concept. That's just because you can run for four verts and you just basically get your receiver to switch around. So yes, and, and that switch concept is yeah. very, very, very good. We used it last year uh, for the first time and, um, and, it, and it worked. And, and you, we'll have a clip of, uh, of this. And it, it works really well uh, because it gives the defense every, every, every snap you, you use or every play you use um, with this concept, it's a chance of a blown coverage. Because it's easier for, yeah, the defender is easier for them to, yeah. to cover a, a straight route or a deep route than having two players crossing. I was going and, to say. I was going to say because yeah. because of your landmarks. I don't yes. think so, because, because of your landmarks. Don't you think that it's just cheap install for us to do that? It's just, it's, yeah. It's cheap install, and they won't expect it half the time. If if, they, if you haven't run it like, but it's, for us, it's like it's well, from my perspective, when I installed it, it was cheap install. It was literally thirty minutes of practice, a couple of times, and we got it in. Because you're like because you got to use the landmarks, your receivers are going to switch yeah. routes, but they're still going to go on the same place. So it's still the same read for your QBs. It's still the same uh, area to throw the ball into, which I do like. So, like, like you're saying, the switch concept works, and if you are trying to use it, it's yeah. Well, I always say cheap install. A cheap install is always good for offense. Yes, and and I use our U19 team as a measure of uh, something new being easy or not, because of course, with our men's team, um, you'll have uh, players that have been playing for a while and. And, and they are very good players and they pick up uh, new things very fast. But with our U19 team, um, for, them, for some of them, it's their first, years, uh, first year of football, even the first months of football for them. So if they can pick this quickly, it means it's very easy to install. Yeah, sure. Agree. And we actually run this uh, with our U19 
uh, team and they picked it very, very, very quickly. And I think it's going to be huge for us this year uh, in the new um, competition we're going to play in. And, and I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to it because I think we, we can do a lot of damage um, this year because the kids are, are picking it up very, very, very quickly. And uh, we can add very, uh, new layers of, of this with motions and switches and everything. So it's the same for them and for the, uh, for the receivers, the reads are the same. For the quarterbacks, the reads are the same. But for the defense, it looks much different. <clears throat> okay, so um, what can we do with our running back in four verts? Um, some people would like to uh, to run it to run a six man protection out of uh, with uh, attached to the four verts because it gives much uh, much more protection to the um, to the quarterback. I'm a huge advocate of um, having five men uh, running routes anytime we can because it's harder for the defense to defend five routes than four. And if you can have your quarterback understanding um, their hot routes or the checkdowns, I'm always going, going to run um, a five man protection if we can. Hey, so, do, do, do you run Vert? Is, is Vert part of your deep game package or part of your quick game package? I consider quick game. Yeah, me too. Um, me too. Yeah. yeah. Because first, we don't have a quarterback, at least for, I'm talking for the U19 team, we don't have a quarterback that can throw for 50 yards. Right. So, um, our reads are going to be um, very quick and we're not going to throw uh, farther than 30 yards. Yeah. So, and it's even it's 30, it's a 30 yard pass. Um, it's a very quick uh, throw. So it shouldn't take longer than two seconds to throw that ball. I agree. I agree. I mean, I, I, so, change, I change it because our, um, our own arm is struggling. And I thought, well, why, yeah. why, make them, why make them deep drop protection when they, they're going to probably cause more harm than good? So we just reverted to a, a quick game approach to it. And I've stuck with it since because it seems to work, work wonders for us. So. Yeah, of course. And, of course, if you have a, a quarterback that can throw a 60-yard pass, um, yeah. you have a lot more depth with this play. And you can run a lot more stuff with this play. <laughs> but um, most of us... If, uh, I, I assume in the UK is, is probably the same as here. National quarterbacks are not very strong arm. <laughs> no, for, for the most part, there, there are exceptions, but for the most part, yes, are, of course. Are, 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 are. But but most of us uh, have quarterbacks that can throw a forty-yard pass, right. but um, not much farther than that, and it doesn't. It's not worth to have a play that you have designed. You have designed to be a very uh, long play if you have if, if you don't have a quarterback that can throw that far. So we um, we run it out of uh, six man protection and out of five man protection. We have both calls. I'm always li I always like to um, half slide the O line to the three technique. So the running back can take that B gap um, if there's a blitz and then um, um, be the check down if, there's, uh, if no one uh, goes in. But out of uh, our, we can use, and we have used with the men's team, with our uh, men's team, we have used a lot of empty uh, formations um, with this play. And we ju we'll just use the uh, running back as a hot route or check down, depending on the call. But we can run um, a drag or we can run a very, like, almost like a smash concept with the uh, running back running like a quick screen and having the, the outside receiver uh, stretching the field uh, with, the, with the fade. So it's almost like a, like a um, smash concept. So we use the running back 
in diff, in you can use the running back in many ways um, with this play. You can use it as the hot route or the check down, or or use him as a as a six as a six man uh, protection. So um, you can you can do a lot a lot of uh, of things with with the running back in this play. And um, I've 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 been a, a, a a huge air raid fan for the last few years, but I haven't, I haven't seen the, the, the run and shoot offense as, as an option until recently. Okay. And I really um, dove into it and you can use a lot of, of the run and shoot concepts um, with any offense, but with the air raid offense um, as well. And especially because they give a lot it gives you a lot of um, reads and a lot of variations you can use. The switch concept is great for the, for the four verts. And also the uh, ability to have the receivers um, read the defense and adjust their routes uh, on this play is huge because it gives you a lot more options, especially against um, um, two high looks uh, of defenses that uh, run a lot of um, cover four or quarters. You have a lot of options here that if you don't have um, the reads, you'll have problems running the four verts against a defense that runs the, the cover four. I don't know if you have uh, a lot of teams there that run the run at quarters uh, coverage. But we do here in Spain because we've been uh, throwing the ball a lot the last few years, and more and more we see defenses that run uh, a version of of uh, quarters. Good defenses run quarters, but the, the poor defenses don't. It's the yeah. question what, what who your opponent is really. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so we thought this could be a good uh, a good um, tweak to the four verts that we were running last year. Um, and we'll see a bit how it works. Really easy. Um, outside receiver, I, I should say outside routes, because with the switch concept, you can have your inside receivers running the outside route. Yep. But outside routes, they're, um, they have to push vertical. And if after 10 yards, um, the coaching point here is if after 10 yards, the corner is still um, on top of you, um, like in a cover four, cover three um, situation, you turn your uh, deep go into a comeback or into a stop, depending on um, how you want to run it. But we run it uh, to the outside. So we run it uh, like a 14, 15 yard comeback. Yep. I mean, it's a 13 yard comeback that goes um, from the f after 15 yards. So you turn into a, into, uh, into a comeback. And for the inside receiver, yeah, in, for the inside receiver, we have one that is always going to run vertical and the other that has the read. And the read, how they teach it with the, with the run and shoot. And we had a lot of um, tape from SMU when, back when they were running the, the run and shoot in the good, um, the good times for SMU's offense. Um, we actually know a coach that was there and uh, who used to be a coach for the head coach for the drags back in the 90s. And, um, and he, he gave us a lot of, of uh, film um, and also how they, how they taught the receivers and, and, and all that. And it's actually, it looks very, very hard to teach because you see a lot of variations and adjustments and, and reads. But it's actually very, very easy if you um, have the time to rep uh, everything. But it's, it all comes after um, we surpass the first level defender. It's either, if it's either um, outside linebacker or a strong safety or a hybrid um, type of defender. So after you, you go by this first defender, then you read the second one, so the safety. And they have, um, they have three rules they go by, and that's it. 
and it's actually very easy to um, to understand. So if we're even, I'm leaving. Meaning, if I can go deep and I can win, I'm gonna go deep. If he's out in a split defense, um, like cover two uh, defense type of situation, if he's out and in, I turn that uh, deep route into a bender kind of uh, kind of route. And if he's over the top, meaning cover four situation, um, I stop. And it's very simple, but it's very effective. And we will see a few clips of, uh, of that uh, read for, uh, for SMU. Okay. How, how, so, many, uh, how, how, yeah. how easy do you find that to teach, coach, to your guys? Teaching them um, that aspect of that, of that technical choice work? What, uh, it's, is, it, is it hard it's to do? It's not easy. Or? It's not easy. We've, I mean, we don't have... I'm not trying to run this with the U19 team. I mean, yes, for the outside routes. For the inside route, I would rather uh, teach um, the read out of trips because it's easier. And we'll see how, how that works in, in a moment. But with this concept, um, we've been trying to teach it uh, for uh, the men's team. And we have a new group of guys with a few veterans, but for most of them, they are um, fairly new playing good level of football and they are struggling a bit we've been trying to do that for a couple of months now and they're starting to pick it up but it it's been it's not been great it's not it hasn't been as good as we thought it would be but it is time consuming so you've got to be dedicated to doing it yes yeah, yeah. okay so that's why i i especially for for the u19 team i yeah. won't like to run this out of this exact formation i'm always going to try to run it out of um trips or use a motion because i i see um better results with with that that with um with the our base uh, formation but again if we can um we haven't played any games yet with yes. uh, our men's team, and we'll see how it goes for the first few games. We have we actually have our first game in a couple of weeks. Okay. So um, so we'll see how how that goes. Okay. So um, now.